Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I want to show you the two ways that you can import the license files that you're going to get from sales. And you, you'll do this if you're trialing or if you're a customer. So by way of example, you're going to get a zip file and you'll see that there's, you know, a handful of different license files. Um, you can see that they're pretty clearly named. Remember, Policy Pack has multiple components in the suite and we're always adding more. So at the time of this video, there's four components in the Policy Pack on-premise suite. There's Application Manager, Admin Templates Manager, Preferences Manager, and Security Manager. There's also two pieces for the Compliance Reporter. There's the endpoints that will perform the reporting and there's the server that also has to be licensed. So Assuming you get all the stuff back from the uh, sales team, again, there's two ways you can get the license done. I'm going to show you both. The first way is um, in the download of all the bits, there's a file uh, inside the licensing for all on-premise products called LT or licensing tool. You have to use this tool if you want to generate requests. I'm assuming you've already generated your requests, sent those to the sales team, and this is what you got back. So what we're going to do is install a license received from Policy Pack software. So what you'll do is simply browse for this location that has your unpacked files here and you'll pick um, each one of these one by one click validate it says that it's valid and what it's going to do is based on where you said you're going to use it it will automatically create a group policy object and link them. Now, if it finds other group policy objects uh, that are already doing this, it could ask you if you want to um, overwrite them because you've got maybe a newer license. That's totally fine. So I'll go ahead and say yes here and let's go ahead and see what it does. Oh, it also asks you if you want these links enforced and that is to help you should um, somebody later down the line do a block inheritance in group policy. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what it did here. So if I if I hit refresh over my sales, okay, uh, let's see, policy pack uh, for uh, application manager, okay, and let's see where it linked it to. Okay, it linked it over to the whole domain, which is exactly what it should do. And there it is, Policy Pack for Application Manager. And it's linked and it's enforced. So even if somebody later right clicks down the line and blocks inheritance, this license file will guarantee to make it through. Okay, so that's choice number one. Let me go ahead and delete, uh, delete this for now, just so we kind of don't intersect uh, these two. So Application Manager, delete. So that's choice number one. Choice number two is you can use any group policy object you want. So for instance, if you knew you were going to use it only in sales, uh, which would affect your east and your west sales as well, you could create a new GPO and call this import existing, you know, you know policy pack uh, existing license files or, you know, my licenses or whatever you want to call it, okay? So you've got a group policy object. It's linked over to where you want to use it. And when you click edit on the group policy object, what you'll do is you'll use the computer side, left click on the policy pack node, then right click and select license management. Okay. When you do this, okay, once you select license management, you get this window that comes up. You can import all the licenses at once. Okay. So for instance, these four are the four components for the on-premise suite as we ship today. Okay. The endpoints. This would help you with licensing the compliance reporter endpoints, and this would be for the compliance reporter server. Again, this what we're saying is that all the stuff we're going to do is going to have to be inside of the sales OU or else, well, it's not going to work because that's, first of all, what we're scoped for. In other words, that's what my request was based upon. And so therefore, that's what you're, pay, what you're paying upon. And that's also exactly what I'm doing uh, here. I'm linking it over to my sales OU. So now if I click on the license here, uh, on the GPO, you can see I, that there are very, all those licenses are installed here. And you can see there's some extra settings here. You can safely ignore those. But you can see that all the licenses are right here and imported. That's it. So now we've lit up the sales for, let's review each of the licenses one more time. Let's just make sure we understand all the license types. The, the ones that are listed in this case, one, two, three, four, are for the four components to make Policy Pack on-premise suite do work. So if you don't have these four, uh, four licenses, well, then the Policy Pack on-premise system to manage applications and do admin templates and to keep group policy preferences alive and so on, that's not going to work because we're not licensed, okay? The second piece is the group policy compliance reporter endpoints. Again, 
These are the, the end user machines. If you want them to report to the server, they have to be licensed. And uh, what they will be licensed for is to turn on Microsoft items. So Microsoft Group Policy Admin Templates, Microsoft Group Policy Preferences, and Microsoft Security Settings. The last piece is the Compliance Reporter Server. That location also must be licensed. So with that in mind, you can, like I said, you can either use LT and do it one by one, or you can create a group policy object. You saw me do that uh, over here. I created a group policy object and boom, I sucked in the licensing uh, information into each of these machines. And that's all there is to it. Hope that helps you out and you're ready to get started. Thanks.